Philippine peso coins are issued by the Banco Central NG Pilipinas for circulation in the Philippines and are currently available in seven denominations. History Both Spain and the United States struck coins for the Philippines while the latter was their colony. Spanish issues were 1 peso, 2 pesos and 4 pesos. Silver fractional coinage ran from 1864 a Euro 1868 and again from 1880 a Euro 1885 and were in the denominations of 10 centavo, 20 centavo and 50 centavo. The United States also struck coins for use in the Philippines from 1903 to 1945. Denominations included the A1 half centavo, 1 centavo, 5 centavo, 10 sen, 20 centavo, 50 centavo, and 1 peso. The A1 half and 1 centavo coins were struck in bronze, the 5 centavo struck in copper nickel, 25%, the 10, 20, 50 centavo and peso coins were struck in a silver composition. From 1903 to 1906, the silver coins had a silver content of 90% while those struck after 1906 had a reduced silver content of 75% for 10 through 50 centavos and 80% for the peso. In both cases the silver was alloyed with copper. The obverse of these coins remained largely unchanged during the years 1903 to 1945. The A1 half centavo, 1 centavo, and 5 centavo coins depict a Filipino man kneeling against an anvil, with a hammer resting at his side. He is on the left side, while on the right side there is a simmering volcano, Mount Mayon, topped with smoke rings. This figure is an allegory for the hard work being done by the native peoples of the Philippines in building their own future. The obverse of the 10, 20, 50 centavo, and peso coins are similar, but they show the figure of liberty, a standing female figure in the act of striking the anvil with a hammer. This was done to show the work being done by Americans in building a better Philippines. Liberty appears on the silver coins, instead of the base metal coins. The reverse of the coins comes in two varieties. The earliest coins were minted when the islands were a U.S. territory, and they bear the arms of the U.S. territories. This is a broad-winged eagle, sitting atop a shield divided into two registers. The upper register has 13 stars, and the lower register has 13 vertical stripes. The date appears at the bottom, and United States of America appears at the top. When the islands became a U.S. Commonwealth, the arms of the Commonwealth were adopted. This seal is composed of a much smaller eagle with its wings pointed up, perched over a shield with peaked corners, above a scroll reading Commonwealth of the Philippines. It is a much busier pattern, and widely considered less attractive. Coins were minted at the Philadelphia, San Francisco, Denver, and Manila mints. Most of the coins struck at the Manila mint occurred after 1925. Proof sets were struck for collectors from 1903 to 1908. It is likely that a large majority of these sets remained unsold at the time they were issued. The recorded mintage for sets in 1905, 1906, and 1908 is a modest 500. Defenders of Korajida threw a large number of silver coins into the ocean, rather than allow the Japanese to accumulate this wealth. A great deal of the booty was later recovered, but many of those were badly corroded. Among the rarest coins in the U.S. Philippines series from the collector's standpoint are the 1906 S1 peso, the 1916 S5 centavos, the 1918 S5 centavo mule, the 1903 S20 centavos and the 1915 S1 centavo. Three commemorative coins were minted to celebrate the Commonwealth in 1936. They show President Franklin D. Roosevelt, Commonwealth President Manuel L. Quezon and U.S. High Commissioner Frank Murphy, who also has served as the last Governor General of the Islands. The 50 centavo commemorative has a reported mintage of 20,000 pieces was struck in 75% silver, and weighs 10 grams. The two varieties of one peso commemorative had reported mintages of 10,000 pieces. They weigh 20 grams, and are 90% silver. After the granting of independence to the Philippines in 1946, no coins were minted for the Philippine Republic until 1958, other than a small silver commemorative issue in 1947 to honor General Douglas MacArthur. 
totals of 200,050 centavos and 100,001 peso coins were minted with the general's image on the obverse and the national coat of arms on the reverse. Struck at the San Francisco Mint, they carry the S Mint mark below the date. In 1958, the 20 centavos was replaced with the 25 centavos and all coins were resized to be the same diameter as their U.S. equivalents, albeit in more base metals, other than the centavo. The same seated man with anvil and volcano or standing liberty with anvil and volcano designs were retained for the obverses while the seal of the Central Bank of the Philippines dominated the reverse. These coins were minted by the Philadelphia Mint from 1958 through 1963, and then by the Royal Mint in England and the Vereinigte Deutsche Metallwerk in West Germany in 1965 and 1966. In view of all subsequent issues using the Tagalog language, this coinage is often referred to as the English series since it uses the English language. The next series was introduced in 1967, introducing images of various Philippine national heroes, and the use of the Tagalog language, hence being called the Pilipino series. The sizes of the coins were reduced. These coins were struck by the various U.S. mints, except for some 50 centavos pieces dated 1972 which were minted in Singapore, and a couple commemorative issues struck by the Sherat Mint in Canada. In 1972 the one peso denomination was reintroduced. In commemoration of Ferdinand Marcos' declaration of martial law, a new series of coinage was issued in 1975, referred to as the Angbogung Lipunan series. The 50 centimo was done away with as a denomination and a new 5 peso issue took its place. A variety of mints provided these coins, including the Royal Mint in England and the Vereinigte Deutsche Metallwerk in West Germany, Philadelphia and San Francisco mints in the US, the Franklin Mint, the Sherat Mint in Canada, and finally the Philippines' own mint, once it was opened and able to produce coinage. From this point on, the Philippine Mint produced nearly all Philippine coinage. After eight years, the Angbogung Lipunan series gave way to a new series titled the Flora and Fauna series, in which the coins, in addition to featuring various Philippine national heroes as before, also began featuring various plant and animal life forms native to the Philippines. The 50 centimo and 2 piso denominations were reintroduced, which latter had not been struck as a coin since the Spanish had struck it in gold. The 5 piso denomination was stopped, but resumed concurrent to the final four years of the Flora and Fauna series which featured reduced sizes for all denominations. The Flora and Fauna series was struck from 1983 through 1994. In 1995 the new BSP series was introduced, which remains the current coinage of the Philippines. Only this current series of coins are legal tender as of January 2, 1998, when the Banco Central NG Pilipinas issued BSP Circular No. 81 which called for the demonetization of all previous existing central bank coins minted before 1995. Recently, fake 10 and 5 peso coins dating 2001 and 2002 have entered circulation. Because of this, the Banco Central NG Pilipinas issued a warning and several security measures on importing and falsifying Philippine coins. And it is because the BSP has announced that there is an artificial shortage of coins last June 2006. The BSP has asked the public to use all small coins or to have them exchanged for banknotes in local banks or other financial institution. In December 2008 a Philippine Congress resolution called for the retirement and demonetization of all coins less than one peso. Formerly circulating coins, the Philippines under U.S. sovereignty, Commonwealth issues, in 1935 when the Commonwealth was established by the Congress of the United States, they issued a three-piece commemorative set to commemorate the occasion. In 1937 the Commonwealth arms were adapted to all circulating coinage. Commonwealth Commemorative Issues, English Series, in 1958, a new, entirely base metal coinage was introduced, consisting of bronze 1 centavo, brass 5 centavos and nickel brass 10, 25 and 50 centavos. Filipino Series, in 1969, the coinage was altered to reflect the use of Filipino names for the currency units. One peso coins were introduced in 1971. Angbogung Lipunan series, 
In 1974, the Angbogung Lipunan series, was introduced with the A plus or minus 5 coins included. Aluminium replaced bronze and cupro-nickel replaced nickel brass that year. Flora and Fauna series, the Flora and Fauna series was introduced in 1983 which included a plus or minus 2 coins. The sizes of the coins were reduced and a plus or minus 5 coins were reintroduced in 1991 with the production of 50 centimo and a plus or minus two coins ceasing in 1994. Circulating coins, current legal tender commemorative coins, on December 9, 2011, the Banco Central NG Pilipinas issued a commemorative one peso coin in celebration with the 150th birth anniversary of Joseph Copyright Rizal. The coins are in the same dimensions as the circulating one peso coins with Rizal's profile on the front instead of the side. The new coin also has the new logo of the central bank and is legal tender with the current series. On December 18, 2013, the Banco Central NG Pilipinas issued a commemorative 10 peso coin in celebration with the 150th birth anniversary of Andres Bonifacio. The coins are in the same dimensions but the design changed. These also featured the new logo of the central bank and is also legal tender. References all mintage numbers are from Red Book A Guide Book of United States Coins, page. All year dates and mint mark denominations are from Red Book A Guide Book of United States Coins, page. All mintage numbers are from Red Book A Guide Book of United States Coins, page. All year dates and mint mark denominations are from Red Book A Guide Book of United States Coins, page. 1. All of these coins bore a single reverse design. The Federal Shield surmounted by an American eagle clutching an olive branch in its right claw and a bundle of arrows in its left. Around this appeared the legend United States of America and the date of coinage. The obverse of the minor coins featured the semi-nude figure of an adolescent native, seated at an anvil and holding a hammer in his right hand. In the distance is seen the smoking volcano of Mount Mayon, located on the main island of Luzon. The statement of value appears above him in English, while the name of the archipelago is written below in Spanish as Filipinas. This employment of Spanish is curious, given the island's a Euro unregistered trademark recent history, yet it remained for some years afterward the principal language of the educated class. For the silver coins, the standing figure of an adolescent female was utilized. She is clad in a long, flowing gown and holds in her right hand a hammer resting atop an anvil, as seen on the minor coins. Behind her is again Mount Mayon, an almost perfectly conical volcanic mountain northeast of the capital city of Manila. These designs are credited to Filipino sculptor Melesio Figueroa, who lived just long enough to see his coins enter circulation. 2. The transition from protectorate to commonwealth, which occurred November 15, 1935 was commemorated on a set of three coins dated 1936 m. The 50 centavo piece shows facing portraits of outgoing Governor General Frank Murphy and incoming President Manuel Quezon. They are portrayed again on one of the peso coins, this time in profile, their busts overlapping. This same configuration is used for the other one peso commemorative, but on its obverse the subjects are President Quezon and President of the United States Franklin D. Roosevelt. This is a very rare instance of a living U.S. president appearing on a United States coin. The common reverse for all three coins depicted the arms of the Commonwealth of the Philippines. Featuring elements symbolic of Spain, the USA and the islands themselves, it was adopted as the common reverse for all regular issue coins beginning in 1937. 3. All of these coins bore a single reverse design. The Federal Shield surmounted by an American eagle clutching an olive branch in its right claw and a bundle of arrows in its left. Around this appeared the legend United States of America and the date of coinage. The obverse of the minor coins featured the semi-nude figure of an adolescent native, seated at an anvil and holding a hammer in his right hand. In the distance is seen the smoking volcano of Mount Mayon, located on the main island of Luzon. The statement of value appears above him in English while the name of the archipelago is written below in Spanish as Filipinas. This employment of Spanish is curious, given the island's a Euro unregistered trademark recent history, yet it remained for some years afterward the principal language of the educated class. 
for the silver coins, the standing figure of an adolescent female was utilized. She is clad in a long, flowing gown and holds in her right hand a hammer, resting atop an anvil, as seen on the minor coins. Behind her is again Mount Mayon, an almost perfectly conical volcanic mountain northeast of the capital city of Manila. These designs are credited to Filipino sculptor Melesio Figueroa, who lived just long enough to see his coins enter circulation. BSP to issue one peso commemorative Rizal coin in December. Banco Central NG Pilipinas. Retrieved December 30, 2011. Uh, external links, Sin Silo, Philippine Coins and Banknotes, Philippine Coins News and Update, Philippine Coin Forum.